Hey guys, this is SP and welcome back today to another video inside of my awesome world and already you can see that in the latest update they uh, they changed the waving animation. I, I barely lift my hands like I used to. Not not as not as strong as I used to be, eh? My arms are getting heavier or something. I don't know, but uh, moving on. First things first, we're going to add a new fish to the fish tank. And uh, I remember something in the last episode I said I promised that there won't be a week between the next upload and this upload. Man, I mean, I've still been a bit, a bit uh, poorly and it's just been a hectic week, so... <laughs> I'm going to say it again. There won't be a week between the next upload, okay? I, I definitely promise this time. But today's challenge is a red... Not challenge. Fish is a red, green... Oh, my goodness. Look at the camera work here. My goodness me. I've never seen anything like it. As you can see, there's a, a few things to be fixed in this uh, this bug fix update. The camera's all over the place. But, um, uh, well, a few things to be fixed in this update. But, yeah. Green, red, spotty. A red, green, spotty. Looks pretty cool, actually, when you put it in. Are you ready? Ta -da. I mean, look at that. Look at look, look at that for a colour scheme, eh? Very, very snazzy indeed. Red and green are two colours that they do generally go well together, don't they? And look, he's swimming up to the top. They're all swimming. Are they running away from it? Okay, what's in the corner that's so cool? We'll never know. <laughs> look at them. They're all having a, they're having a great time, aren't they? Hey, eh? these fish. They, I think they do love this fish tank. It has to be said. Right, moving on. We're now going to go to Fred's office and see what today's challenge is going to be. And interestingly, um, it's it's it, it, there's been a few new mobs spawning around. And uh, on the second, I've just realised something. There we go. You couldn't see the bottom of my hot bar. Well, for like one minute, you couldn't anyway. Might have triggered you. I'm gonna stop triggering you now. Yeah, there was some uh, some foxes knocking about, which is which is kind of what we're, we're going to be looking into today. You know, messing about with foxes. Um, I did see one round here somewhere, but <laughs> of course, for for when I'm uh, recording, it's it's gonna disappear, guys. I mean, that's that's kind of our uh, how life works. Okay, yeah. I don't uh, I don't see it. We'll we'll have a little search for it in a uh, in a bit. It could be down here. It, it could be anywhere by this point. It's uh, it's wandered off somewhere anyway. But uh, yeah, there's definitely foxes spawning, knocking about outside this world. So I'm looking forward to uh, to checking all of them out as well. So, okay. Well, um, that answers that question. <laughs> the fox has been located. So there's the uh, the fox. What are you doing exactly? Okay. I know you're trying to jump, but you know what? You're probably still going to be stuck there. We'll go and, uh, we'll go and rescue him in a moment, I guess. But uh, let's drop down here and uh, let's go and, uh, and get our reward fish first. You know, priorities, guys. They've got to be met, haven't they? Okay, they've absolutely got to be met of the priorities. So we'll head down here. We'll now go and get our eye scanned. And we're going to be allowed through. Perfect. Approval is always a nice thing. Good morning, Sean. How you doing, buddy? You know what? New update. Same old Sean. <laughs> oh, wait. No. Oh, hello, Sean. A different Sean. You're friendly today. You're in a good mood. Eh? You've got a big crooked smile on your face. Right. Um, over here, as you can see, we have the arm stand. The glitch has been fixed where there was like a weird salmon thing coming out of his head. So... I guess I'll just uh, I'll just eat that salmon. Have we got? Yeah, let's let's put his uh, his stuff back on as well. Then we might as well do uh, do that. Give him back the soul sand too. Okay, it's all it all, all make, might as well make sense. There you go. All right, uh, have some soul sand in your hand. There you go. And uh, look at that. Look at the smooth animation. They've changed that, so he's now a smooth animation. Look at that. I like it. Let's, I, oh, wait, wait, wait. There we go. I want to be able to see the soul sand, but I'm I'm impressed with the old uh, the smoothness of it. Good morning, Miles. How you doing, buddy? You're not escaping today. The turtles are having a swimming, uh, a bit of swimming fun. And good morning, Fred. How are you doing today, mate? Today's challenge. Your fish is in the toilets of the Grand Hotel. Why would you put it in the toilets of, the, of that? Okay, you know what? I'm not going to ask questions. I'm just going to go and get my fish, okay? If, if he wants to put it in the toilets of the Grand Hotel, that's up to Fred. You know, I, I can't really stop him, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, to the to the Grand Hotel we go, which is just along this way. Not too uh, not too far. Is that fox still stuck as well? Should we go and, should we go and free it? Because I feel bad for it, you know? Come on, Foxy. That's it. Run away. There you go. Go go out into the world and, and have a whale of a time. Actually, if you crouch, I'm sure that they're not scared of you. Okay, look at this. You're not, we're, we're a bit premature, but if, if you crouch up next to a fox, until you get into the adjacent block anyway. At least if they go to sleep. You're not going to sleep in this, though. Look, if I go here, it probably run, right? Oh, no. If I stand up, yeah, it runs now. Okay. So if you can stay crouched, you're pretty much sorted, aren't you? Right, anyway, let's, uh, <laughs> let's go and, uh, and go to the Grand Hotel then, all right? And we're going to go and... Um, Get this reward fish, all right? Stop messing about. All right, Guardian. So I swim past him. Yeah, you don't stand a chance, mate. I'm going to break my flowers now. Oh, we're all right. Okay. Oh, okay. Took a hit as well. <laughs> the Guardian managed to uh, managed to do some damage. Yeah, well, I'll leave him there. Some... I should make a proper enclosure for him, but I do have my aquarium for the for the Guardian stuff, so that's not a, not a real problem, is it? Let's go and... Uh, let's go and have this salmon as well. Yeah, a bit of raw salmon. Yeah, a pre-breakfast reward fish. What is going on over here? I just see... Jumping, uh, jumping llamas and stuff. <laughs> There's more animals at that picnic place than humans. All right, so here we are at the Grand Hotel. So we step back and have a look at this Grand Hotel. Built this a long, long time ago. Probably about episode 60, something like that. Guys in the comments might be able to remember the exact episode. And, um, yeah, we have a pig that works it. 
I thought he wasn't there for a second. You all right, Pigston? Yep, you keep to work, mate. Great reception, uh, receptionist. All right, and we're going to go to the toilets. I think I just have toilets on the top floor in here. Here we go. And in this chest, we have my reward fish. Thankfully, in a uh, in a hygienic place, I suppose. Um, <laughs> right, so yeah, this is, uh, this is the view you get. It's a very nice stay, is it? To be honest, like, obviously, I built this a long time ago, okay? And I mean, I like, I, I like it. I like the design. But I've changed so Not changed so much, but there's certainly things that I'd like to add or change in here, like... Get some carpet up here. You know, it's it's a it's a very bleak floor at the moment. So I would put cyan carpet up here. I might actually do this at some point. In these rooms, they need carpet in. Okay, I mean everything else. I'm pretty happy with the furnishing, but maybe you could have something in there. I'm not sure exactly what, but yeah, they, they definitely need um they definitely need a little bit more, don't they? Anything in these chests? No, okay, let's not, not mess about with that. But yeah, there's there's more room but anyway. Well, hotel and a breakfast. Lovely, uh, lovely day. All right, this is a that's a balcony to look out on, isn't it? So yeah, you've got one floor. Here we have floor two. So how many rooms do we have? We have one, two, three. I think we have five rooms. Yeah, five rooms. A little bit of reception. Yeah, again, carpet. This, this carpet is the main takeaway, I think, from the Grand Hotel. Things that need adding. Carpet, carpet, carpet. That's uh, that's for sure. So, moving on to the next uh, the next thing. Reward fish done. We're going to be uh, focusing on foxes. We're going to be we're going to be looking at all the different things that foxes can do. This, I mean, foxes do have their uses. Um, especially uh, when I want to create a berry farm, but I'm not going to be doing that anytime. Well, not just yet, anyway. Uh, I'm going to grab some more berries, actually, some sweet berries, because that is how you breed foxes. And I would at some point like to breed some. Uh, I think right. So what I have done, all right, in between episodes, is I've started building uh, like an enclosure, like a home for for foxes. So we're going to go and do that. So first things you want to you want to bear in mind when it comes to foxes is that they they can trust you, but the only ones that are going to trust you is if you breed a baby fox, okay? So if you breed two foxes and you get a baby fox, that, that baby fox is going to trust you, all right? So that's that's something to bear in mind. It's going to follow you. It's going to attack mobs for you if, if you need to. You know, it's going to be your, your right-hand pet. So I, I'm planning on getting a baby fox that's going to trust me. But first, I do need to uh, to finish this uh, this room here. So uh, along the sides here, we're going to have a bit of podzel. Um, I think we'll have a third one there. We'll have a couple in there, a couple in there, and then we're also going to get some sea lanterns out. So one, two, three, four, perfect. And then we're just going to do the flies. Yeah, I've done the, I've done the vast majority of this room, but a few things just needed finishing, so I needed a few extra blocks for it. So that all the way along there. We're also going to be putting glass panes. I'm not going to fully fill this up just yet, but there is going to be glass panes in there, okay? And there's going to be something in here. I won't tell you what's going to be in here just yet. It's a it's a surprise, guys. All right, but. I think you'll 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 think it's funny, right? Um, we're also going to put some lanterns in here. I think it's a little bit a little bit dark, isn't it? A little bit dark, and uh, we also want to put glass along here. And then this is the uh, the enclosure side of things completely finished. So my plan, my hope is to get a a regular fox and an Arctic fox. Okay, so a red fox. Oh, I just missed those up. Good job, I've got silk touch. Yeah, I want to get a red fox and an Arctic fox. Okay, so uh, around me, I'm only think I'm only going to really get red foxes. Um, so I, I'm gonna have to travel a bit to uh, to find arctic foxes. Uh, we're also gonna just put those there. Don't eat them, okay? You're not eating these berries just yet. These are for the foxes. And I think if we grab some item frames as well. Chuck some uh, some stuff down. There we go for there. And then what we'll do is we'll have berries in them and also leads because if I need a lead and I don't have one on me uh, for these foxes, then it's gonna be handy to uh, to have a few in there. I don't know where to put a fence in here as well. So we should we just put like a, f a, f a fence in the top corner and then we can attach them to, to that if we want to. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the, uh, the general design of uh, of this room. So this is this is a little fox home. Okay, I just need to add two more glass panes when the time is right, but the time is not yet right. So let's go and find some foxes and let's try and breed one. Okay, what we will we will need a lead as well. Okay, a lead is going to um, to help things just a little bit because when you although the baby fox will trust you, it will run away and try to it will try and follow its parents. So if its parents are running away. The baby fox is going to run away. So that's that's the only thing to uh, to bear in mind. It is also going dark. So maybe we should, we should have a little bit of sleep before we uh, before we do this. What do you reckon? How about we sleep in the old, the dirt house, eh? Or we could sleep in Fiona's house. Uh, I mean, if we want to annoy her. No, I think there's only one bed there. So she's probably going to want to sleep in there. So I won't I won't annoy her, okay? I'll uh, I'll bring her a, a berry for breakfast. How about that? I mean, this is... What on earth is that? I don't know. Uh, yeah, this is... Oh, I was wondering. It's the, uh, it's the effect from the um, the conduit. Okay, wow. that's the, the camera angle's doing some weird things at the moment. <laughs> Right, um, yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and bring Fiona a berry. All right, I'm sure she'll uh, she'll appreciate that. Good morning, Fiona. Hello, where are you wandering off to? What are you doing? Brewing, are you? Oh, oh there you go. Here's a um, here's a oh, I just chucked that in. 
Who knows what potion I'm going to create there. She's probably not happy. <laughs> probably broke something. Okay, so we've uh, we've done that. Let's go under and search now for foxes. So we did find one fox, but we obviously we need to find two foxes. I think I can put a fox on a lead regardless as well. So, uh, okay, that's a wolf. Okay, and I thought, wow, I found an arctic fox in it. Didn't think I'd get an arctic fox in here. Because I think this is technically a normal tiger biome. Like, when they, they did a biome update and, and, like, made a snowy tiger biome and a tiger biome. This is, like, three years ago or something. And this went from being a snowy tiger to a normal tiger. So I think we'll get red foxes in here. I'm pretty sure, okay? But, well, that's why there's there's, there's all those foxes spawning around the world. And I thought we'd probably get quite a lot of foxes spawning in. Uh, we, well, we'd find it quite easy to find foxes just because there was that many of them. Uh, well, already a couple spawning in my world. Like, I did already, I did see two spawning in my world quite close. But now, as you can see, they're, they're, they're all, uh, they're quite scarce to find. I think because they're in the forest as well, it's always going to be tricky to, uh, to spot them, isn't it? But... Well, oh, also wolves. Wolves will attack foxes, so these wild wolves might have uh, <laughs> might have taken them out for all I know. Yeah, so we've not got any any around here. All right, so we'll carry on sort of back towards more. If we can at least find that first fox, okay, then that's something, and then we can go on and and probably find the other one as well. I'll find a, a another one. Um, yeah, we'll go and uh, we'll head up to the the old cursed portal. See if we can spot it because it was interesting. They actually seem to spawn on the other side of the river as well. So it must be like part tiger biome over there or something. Who knows? You think you get tigers in a tiger biome? Oh, it's spelled differently though. <laughs> All right, let's go and see if we can spot the other fox. Probably despawn knowing, knowing me now. I probably shouldn't have uh, scared it off. Is, no, that's not it there. Okay. Where is uh, where is this fox? All right. I, I'm pretty sure it won't have despawned. It probably had me chickens or something. Okay. Yeah, because I didn't actually spot it when I came back. Is it, do you think it's gone down here? It's, it's possible. Let's just double check it. Okay, nothing in here. Not even any mobs. You usually get, like, hostile mobs spawning down there, but not today, apparently. They're all uh, out and about. Yeah, so unless he's gone back around here and he's got stuck. <laughs> yeah, there you are. All right, can we put a lead on you? We can. Come on then, Foxy. That's it. All right, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tie you to a fence, and then I'm going to go and try and find a, uh, a pal for you so that you, we can get two foxes, all right? So here you go. Did it. And then there you go. All right. Stay. <laughs> Even though I didn't really need to do that to make you stay, because you you were, you just managed to get stuck anyway. I don't, I don't know what it is. Maybe there's some chicken in there or something. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not sure. So, yeah, uh, obviously, it's going to take a little bit of time to find another fox before one spawns in or I spot it. So, what I'll do is I'm going to just keep searching, and then I'll uh, I'll let you know when I find one. And there we go. We've managed to find a fox. Okay, let's, uh, let's go and put him on a lead if we can. Come on. Uh, back away from the chickens. That's it. You're mine now, Foxy. Okay. <laughs> so, we've got two foxes. I, I, I don't know. I think I'll allow these foxes to, like, go back into the wild. Because, obviously, they're never going to trust me. So, I don't I don't think so. Any, unless, I'm, unless I keep feeding you berries, will you trust me then? I don't I don't think so. I'm, maybe. I didn't read anything that they can trust you. But now I'm having second thoughts that, like, surely they must trust you eventually. But, no, I don't think so. Okay, come on, Fox. Hope you come. Maybe I'll, I'll double check it. But I'm pretty sure they'll... Uh, They'll never trust me. I, you know what, though? No. Let's just be careful. Um, I will, I'll double check it. I, ooh, sorry, Foxy. You're definitely not trust me now. Just say, I'll double check it and find out if a fox can actually trust you. So I have double checked. And yes, I'm right that you cannot tame a fox that's, that's a wild one. You can only you can only get a tame fox from, from making a, 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 getting a baby fox. So we're going to put you on here as well. All right. Look at that. Oh, sweet berries. You're interested now, aren't you? <laughs> so we'll give you one. There you go. And you one. And the baby fox remaining will be a tamed fox. All right, and uh, well, a, a, a baby fox is called a kit. So I thought that uh, we would call the, the baby fox kit as well, <laughs> since that's what you are. So let's, uh, oh, if we can, if we can, if we can do it, come on. Wait, can you name foxes? It turns out you can't name foxes. Oh, no, come back here. Okay, you're, you're going to be a, a right handful, aren't you? Little fella. <laughs> come on, kit. I'll, I'll try and name you in a bit, I suppose. Man, you're your tiny hitbox. So he will grow up eventually, but he's coming with me, all right? All right, say goodbye to your parents. You may not see them again, all right? <laughs> I am your new parent now, all right? We're, we're, we're a team, all right? So I'm pretty sure... I don't know if it trusts me now. Will you trust me now? Will you follow me around? Come on. Come on, baby fox. Or do I have to wait till you grow up? I think I have to wait for him to grow up before he'll trust me, so... Yeah. Like, he's not, he's not against me. There we go, kid. Come on. You're meant to follow me. Are you following me? Wait. 
Surely not. No, he's, he's a bit he's a bit dopey, all right? He's still he's still a baby. He's still, I mean, it's amazing that he can walk, to be honest. He's only just been born. <laughs> okay, right. Come on, Kit. We're taking you to your new uh, your new home, all right? You're going to love it, mate. All right? You're going to absolutely love it. And I'm going to get a friend for you. Don't worry, okay? It's going to take me a while to get a friend for you. But by the end of this episode, you will not be the only fox living there, okay? We're, uh, we're going to get another one, don't you worry, all right? So let's go. I don't know if I should keep those two adult folks. No, no, I'm going to let them go free, all right? I'm 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 no monster, apart from orphaning this poor thing. I mean, they could come and visit if they want, but yeah. Come on, Kit. Come here, all right? Only tame foxes uh, belong in in this area. So we're going to go in here. Okay, is this going to is this going to allow me through? It's going to be annoying, isn't it? Okay, Kit, don't go to sleep. You're not sleeping, are you? Now is not the time for sleep. Oh, you know what? <laughs> There's got to be a better way to do this. Look at you. As fast as sleep, Kit. Oh, have you ever seen something so cute? <laughs> oh, you can hear, I think you can hear him as well. I think he's very quiet, but I think you can hear him snoring. Right, anyway, let's, um, let's just get you in here. Come on, Kit. That's it. You can sleep. In what? <laughs> Was he being dragged along whilst to sleep? Okay, I've seen it all. Right, so we're going to go and put that there. All right, off the lead you come. All right. Oh, look at him. He's fast asleep. He'll wake up in the dark, won't he? So what I want to do now is I want to go and get some uh, some eggs. <laughs> and that's what that little room round the back is for, okay? It is for me chickens to uh, to have some fun. So we're going to, uh, we're going to get ourselves some uh, some eggs from here. I mean, we can get millions of eggs from this place. So these chickens are, uh, well, <laughs> their days are numbered. Okay. Uh, we got more eggs. Okay. I think we've picked up quite a lot of eggs there. All right. You guys, how many times have I told you, you're a sheep, not a chicken, okay? You know what, I'll just leave you to it. I'll leave you to it. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go and fill this little place with uh, with chickens. Although, not the actual inside, because we want these chickens to be survivors as well. You know, we want them to have some sort of life, you know? Not not a life of just being fed to foxes. Instead, they're just going to be... Um, how do I put this nicely? They're going to be entertainment for the foxes. You know what, I should have made this comfier for you, shouldn't I? I should put some carpet down or something for you, you know? So you've got somewhere nice to sleep. I'll put some hay down, maybe. So, um, yeah, we're going to go and just... Uh, right, we need to make sure to pack this up quickly as well. But we're going to just fill this up with chickens. There you go. All right, baby chickens, you're, you're, you only have one purpose in life, and that is for the foxes to look at you. <laughs> All right, look at you, you're wide awake now. Yeah, look at you, kid. Yo, you're not coming out. No, you, 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 you might not come back yet. I don't trust you at the moment. Yo, you, well, you don't trust me, apparently. So, um, yeah, what I want to do next is I want to go to the uh, the snowy tiger biome and find some arctic foxes, breed them and breed one uh, and bring one home, a baby one. But obviously that's, I mean, the nearest one is like quite a few thousand blocks away. So I'm going to go and fly over there and uh, yeah, meet you guys there. And here we are at the snowy tiger biome. It's nighttime as well, which means there's a more increased chance of them spawning at night apparently. So we're just going to have to search, see if we can spot any from the air. I don't, haven't seen any just yet. So I'm coming into land and uh, now it is time to not find one of these, but to try and find two of them. Okay, so that's that's always going to be a uh, <laughs> a tricky task, but doable, doable for definite. I mean, it's not as easy in the dark either. Uh, you would okay. What's that? Okay. Uh, apparently, these guys as well. Like you know how the other ones prefer. So red foxes prefer like chickens, rabbits, and baby turtles. That's what they will they will go to attack. Um, baby uh, uh, Arctic foxes. They prefer cod, fish. Uh, uh, well, <laughs> cod is a fish. <laughs> uh, cod, salmon, and tropical fish to attack those, which is just always a little interesting uh, thing. So I don't know whether to add like a little fish. To oh, we found one. Okay. Oh, oh. Uh, hello, hello, little uh, little fella. Okay. Uh, okay, I've got to try. Oh, it's two of them. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, okay. Right, let's let's grab you. Uh huh. And where's the other one gone? Oh, this is brilliant. Okay, this is nice. Right. Oh, creeper, 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 you dare. You dare get in the way of my plans now. Whoop, you as well. Okay, this is the problem we're doing it at dark. <laughs> you get more of them spawning, but yeah, it's hard. Okay, right. You. Oh, look at you. Stop running. <laughs> right, so we're going to go and put these on a fence, and then it's just going to be a little bit easier, isn't it? So, I don't know. We'll put the fence right about here. Attach you guys. All right, no escape now. And then we'll get you. I don't have a name for the white one, actually. So, okay, there's you. And there's you. Okay. And let's get my lead out. Baby Fox has been achieved as well. Okay, Baby Fox. You know, I'm going to have to free you guys so that, you know, you, you've got a life. Okay. Say goodbye to your, uh, the Baby Fox because he's coming home with me. All right. This could, this could take a while. I'll say. Have you got, have you got it in your mouth? I don't think you can get things in your mouth just yet. You can't pick them up. Right. Um, yeah. So this is the way home. <laughs> We're going to begin the long journey. Me and, uh, this Baby White Fox, um, 
Come on. There we go. Yeah, so uh, if you have if you have any ideas for a name for this little fella, go in the comments, guys. All right, and uh, we'll we'll see what we can call this Arctic fox of uh, of mine. Okay. So Kit, I think I think Kit. We're gonna say because Kit is a is a boy. Okay. It, I think Kit can be a boy's name and a girl's name. It's more of a nickname than anything. So, uh, but the Kit that I've got is a, is a boy. So we'll say that this this little baby Arctic fox, she's a girl. Okay. So whatever you want to call her. Go for it. All right. But uh, anyway, I'm going to begin, begin the long journey home. Can't actually fly my lights this time, so it's going to take a while. Whoa, get out of here, you little little baby thing. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Two of you. What on earth? Okay, I don't want to hit the fox by mistake. Oh, oh. Okay. Steady. There we go. One down, two down. Perfect. Right. <laughs> yeah. So I'll see you guys when I eventually make it back home. Well, I'll tell you what, I've never been happier to, uh, to finally get home. That took a long time to drag this little fox all that way. But he's on me. Oh, wow. And now we've got a, uh, a drowned swimming after me. All right. Come on. Uh, come on, little foxy, mate. We're uh, we're under attack, so we need to get out of here. <laughs> Can you imagine if a drown just, like, throws this thing and takes you out now? I'll be I'll be very disappointed. Not more disappointed. I'll, uh, I will probably just... Uh, <laughs> I'll give up getting an Arctic fox. Put it, put it that way. Right. So, uh, yeah. Well, let's get you home then, buddy. Okay. As quick as we can. Let's not delay. I mean, look at the speed he can walk. He can, I mean, he can walk pretty quick. But it's still like the amount of things you've got to navigate past and stuff. It's a bit of a nightmare, right? Um, what are you doing? Are you going for those uh, those villages up there? Look at him. He's really going for it. Isn't he? Let's just leave him to it. Like, he will. He'll never manage to get up there. So <laughs> I'm not going to get involved. Whoa, an ocelot. Okay, ocelots and foxes. They do not hurt each other. Okay. You never know when you're just going to find a random ocelot walking around your world, do you? Hey, well, there you go. Right. Go on then, uh, little fella. Come and see your uh, your new your new roommate. Okay, Kit. I wonder if Kit has grown up yet as well. I, I mean. Who knows? Who knows? We'll we'll find out, I suppose. So come on, this is it. No, oh, he's still a baby. <laughs> All right, I, I'm gonna be honest. I hope that Kit does not now escape. Okay, let's just jump in here. There we go. In you come. Close it up, and the lead can come off. There you go, little uh, little fella. So yeah, this is, uh, this is. Have you just nicked my lead? I think you just nicked my lead in his in his mouth. Do you want? Do you want anything in your mouth? Do you want? Do you want uh, there you go. Have a. Have a berry. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're too small to actually hold it properly, aren't you? Look at him. <laughs> oh, you've got a berries in your mouth. Look at him. Yeah. Uh, eventually, when you grow up, it'll look normal again, I suppose. But yeah, for now, that's uh, that's that. Here's your little chicken entertainment. Um, so here's my little fox. Looking forward to seeing what names you guys come up with for him. Um, so yeah, can, can I get out of here? Thank you. You're staying home. All right. Uh, yeah, so let's have a look. Any, I'm trying to think of anything else to, uh, to say. Um, yeah. So, an interesting, I mean, there's, there's all, all sorts of different interesting facts about foxes, like, they won't actually go to sleep if they're within 12 blocks of an armor stand, I don't know if that's because they mistake the armor stand for a human, something like that, that's, that's an interesting thing, um, also a few things I want to try, I probably won't try it today, but if you actually give a fox a top of undying and then kill it, it, uh, <laughs> It actually uses the total of undying and survives. Uh, it's the same with like a chorus fruit. If you give it a chorus fruit, eventually it'll eat the chorus fruit and teleport, which I thought would be a cool thing to try. Um, and also, uh, if it's got like a sword in its mouth, like let's say it's got the looting sword, like a looting sword or a, a sharpness sword, diamond sword in its mouth, when it attacks other uh, mobs, it will actually use those effects on it. So if it attacks chickens, it'll use those effects on it. Or if, um, let's say, you know, the tamed fox, like those two foxes, are with me, and they attack. Uh, they attack a mob that attacks me. They'll also use like the the sharpness effect. So I thought that was a cool thing. But those are things I'll have to try in a future episode because uh, they need to grow up first before we can uh, we can test all those things. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been a pretty successful little uh, little thing, hasn't it? I'm uh, I'm glad we've got ourselves some baby foxes. So you know, I, I, I'll sleep first. You know, let's let's sleep and then we can. And we can end the episode in the daytime when they're when they're sleeping. <laughs> right now they're awake, they're all doing all sorts, but they're they're going to be sleeping when I uh, when I end the episode, aren't they? So we'll go through here. Here we go. Hello. Yep. Cats and dogs in here. Yep. Your old news now. It's all about the foxes apparently. So let's do that. All right. So please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below fox names for the little white fox and uh, the little arctic fox and Squirveroonie. Perfect. And hello, little fellas, are you fast asleep? Oh, fast asleep in the bushes, by the looks. Well, one of them is. You're not. Hello. Oh, look here. Harvesting them. And, oh, you've, uh, thank you. I've got my lead back. Well, that's very nice. <laughs> you prefer the food. Eventually, oh, yeah, eventually they do eat the berries, don't they? All right, Kit. And all right, other fellas. So, yeah. As I said, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you guys next time.